Hey guys, what is up? This is Eric with the Video Destruct YouTube channel, and today we're doing another unboxing. As you can see over here, it is the Nerd Block, um, which is Loot Crate's um, uh, competitor. Uh, Loot Crate has a lot of competitors, um, seeing as I was the top. Um, I'm not sure which started first. Uh, I do know uh, Nerd Block is Canadian, eh? Um, so, happy Canada Day here at Video Destruct, even though it's probably not really Canada Day. Even if they have a Canada Day, it probably wouldn't be today. But we're calling it Canada Day because we do have our Nerd Block. Uh, Nerd Block does tend to get shipped uh, a little later due to the fact that it's international shipping. And it always shows in my doorstep probably a week and a half after the Loot Crate does because they usually ship about the same time. Um, so I had a little issue. Uh, I go to my front porch and the nerd block was wrapped in plastic and I wasn't sure why that they did that I thought maybe the nerd block people had done that um, but they did not it was the postal service uh, the US postal service not the Canadian postal service um, had wrapped it up because the box has let me show you uh, the, the, the box was slightly askew slightly a, a, a skew. Yeah, so um, they had some, some uh, shipping tape over it uh, along with the, the plastic wrap that kept it together. Um, so hopefully everything's in here. The good thing about NerdBlock is they put on their shipping label uh, everything that is supposed to be in here. So I, they send you a magazine, I guess. This is my first actual NerdBlock. Um, I did get the arcade block, which is Nerd Block's kind of custom to video games uh, mystery box. Um, I didn't do any videos of that, unfortunately. So we're starting with Nerd Block, Nerd Block Classic, as they call it. So let's get the trusty knife, Ooh. and uh, open this bad boy up. All right, safety first. Uh, keep looking down at the screen because um, we have the new set. I want to make sure it looks uh, pretty decent. Uh, messing around with all the settings, so it gives you something else to look at besides a black screen. Uh, so let's let's secondarily open the the opening of the box. Um, all right, we'll set this off to the to the to the side here in some way, shape, or form. All right, the first thing. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, man, this thing is packed. Um, let's just start with cool things that I see. All right. Uh, the first thing I see is um, it's a little dusty, probably because the package is open. A grumpy cat plushie. It doesn't squeak. Um, but it does um, have a thing that says go away. <laughs> so there you go. Grumpy cat in uh, hipster glasses. So, yeah, it's an official grumpy cat. Uh, plushy. I think it has a thing that it hangs from in here, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that didn't make the the trip with the uh, the rest of the nerd block that got ripped. Um, but it looks like it should have a thing, a clip, that could hang it on something. But I can't. Um, it'll go somewhere on my shelf. Uh, Grumpy Cat. Always an awesome little dude. There you go, guys. Alright, moving on. Doo -doo -doo. We have, and there was a shirt in here on top. I'll save it for last because everybody likes the shirts. Whoa. I'm, I'm, I'm going to save this for last. <laughs> um, Scatterbrains uh, darts. And there's like a bajillion like characters on the back that you could get. Um... Scatterbrains darts, three darts included. Um, their <laughs> their their brains are exposed. So uh, yeah, sorry the green screen's kind of ripping and tearing because it's got a lot of green on the package. Um, so yeah, this is disgusting. Like in a fun way, like it's oh you can buy a brain zooka and you can shoot your scatter brains uh, a half a mile. So there you go. This is in here for whatever reason. I don't know what the uh, 
the theme of Loot Crate, or Nerd Block was. Um, Loot Crate always has a theme. Uh, Nerd Block doesn't have a theme, I guess, this month. I know they've had them before. Um, so I guess there's just sort of random items in here. So we'll set that over there. Next thing we have is... Elf Ears. No. I'm gonna... Terrible packaging. Ah! Little weird <laughs> elf ears. I don't know if I'm going to put these on or not. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm almost 100% certain I'm not going to wear these. Ever. <laughs> not for the enjoyment of people. So yeah, elf ears. Elf ears. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, we got a comic book. It is a uh, Star Trek Planet of the Apes uh, mashup. You see that right there? Apparently it's a, uh, a Nerd Block exclusive. Uh, the Primate Directive. Um, maybe they do something neato with uh, the mix of the two going to alien planets, but I thought the concept of Planet of the Apes was they were, it was Earth, like that was the big twist, was, hey, it's a different planet, but found out at the end we're on Earth. Um, so Captain Kirk and Spock come to Earth. That's weird. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. The comic, um, which is pretty standard in a lot of these uh, boxes nowadays. Um, we have the card telling us what's inside. Ah! The card telling us what's inside. Alright, uh, and now... Oh, okay. This is a... They give me a, a little dartboard. Uh, office decision maker dartboard and a regular dartboard. And it's custom, I don't know if you can see that, with all the stuff that's in here. You got the Grumpy Cat, um, the Millennium Falcon, the X-Wing, TIE Fighters, uh, Doctor Who's uh, TARDIS thing over here. And of course the Starship Enterprise. And lots and lots of fun options for the work decision maker play. So that's why the darts were in here. To throw at this board that we have now. That I will put there and throw things at until it gets old or their brains aren't as sticky. So, there you go. Alright. Uh, okay, we'll keep that to the side because that goes with that. Um, oh, this is cool. <laughs> A pen and bookmark uh, from The Hobbit. A Thorin key pin and a bookmark from the uh, old Hobbit movie. I just saw that. Won't you? Oh, that! Ah, that! That! That hurt. Okay, moving on. Alright, you have the. Uh, I have a Thorin uh, kind of 3D bookmark. I don't know if that translates well over to the internets um but yeah uh 3d thor and bookmark there you go guys that's kind of cool um not gonna surprise you not a big reader this guy so this bookmark will go to someone who is really into the hobbit or into reading um i do like the hobbit i thought it was a really cool flick all three of them a little drug out but that's later uh, we'll talk about that. Um, but there you go. The Thorin Oakenshield Hobbit bookmark. And then you get the sweet ass key. They got you into the mountain. I forgot what it's called. And I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for that. Because I just saw the movie like a week ago. Um, you get the key and it's supposed to be a pen. But I don't want to break it to find out how it works. Um, oh, okay. There it is, I think. Oh, there you go. It's a pen. Just a little ballpoint pen. Nothing too uh, fancy about it. It's not It's not zooming. It's not zooming. 
Nothing but the best here at Video Destruct. Um, well, there you go. It's a pin or a key to a kingdom full of gold and riches and insanity and dragons. Or I guess a dragon. Smaug. I always said it weird in that movie. Smaug. Anyway, key to Smaug's uh, little death lair. That's pretty neat. All right, put that back. All right, the next thing we have is a shirt. And I kind of saw what this was. Um, it is a Doctor Who shirt. We're going to move the box over here now since that's empty. Uh, a Doctor Who Sonic Screwdriver <laughs> t-shirt. And, of course, the thing is green. Can you see my face through it? I don't know. Can you see it? Can, can Where's it at? Ah, I'm in a t-shirt. Um, the circle on the thing is the exact color green as the green screen behind me. Um, I know I'm pulling back the curtain and you know you really thought I was in a studio, but I'm not. I tricked you because I'm smart. And that's what my mom told me. Um, so yeah, there you go. This is the, uh, oh, I guess it's just, there you go. Yeah, my head's gone. Yeah. Um, so Sonic Screwdriver t-shirt. There you go. It's green. The circle is green. Uh, countless uses in time and space. Uh, I'm not a big Doctor Who guy. Um, and a lot of people are probably going to stab me with some sort of sonic screwdriver knife type device. Because um, everybody's in a Doctor Who that I know. And I catch a lot of shit for it. Um, but it, I just, I've never picked it up. And I will one day. I don't have anything against Doctor Who. I just, I've never personally watched it with my eyes. Um, I went to com a bunch of Comic Cons. Um, New York Comic Con was full of them. There's Doctor Who's everywhere. There's Lady Doctor Who's, Men Doctor Who's, Dog Doctor Who's, Who Doctor Who's, a Slender Men Doctor Who, a Deadpool Doctor Who, lots of Doctor Who's. So there you go. He's a popular dude. Or dudes, because there's more of them than one, right? There's like, there's more than one. I know that. So, next thing, um, and I saw this, and I was like, whoa, this is pretty cool. Um, and then it came with a certificate of authenticity, which is pretty much just a business card. Um, but, there you go. Here we go, guys. This is pretty neat. It is a film cell from the movie Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Can you see it? Can you see it? I got one with lightsabers. And is the scene, let me hold it up to my light so I can see it. Is the scene where Luke just got his hand cut off and is fighting old, uh, or is about to get his hand cut off and fighting Darth Vader and about to find out that he's his father. Um, so not only did I get a, a piece of, of film from the Star Wars movies, um, but... You can kind of see it there a little bit. There, see the red lightsaber? And the it's blue. It's hard to see. Um, a little piece of film, but it comes with a sweet certificate of authenticity. The certificate of authenticity um, guarantees that this premier cell collectible is a genuine official product from Trendsetters Limited. Each collectible is hand assembled and contained and contains one scene from the movie captured on authentic 35 millimeter scope film. Um, so, it's definitely not from the original movie. Like, they definitely just put it on film, on put a movie on a film, and then cut a bunch of pieces out. Um, so, that way they could give all their subscribers, I guess, a cool scene. Um, so, this is alright. This is, I mean, I'll definitely put this somewhere for people to look at, because it's all wrapped up. I'm not going to take it out of its plastic packaging, because that seems like a dumb idea. I feel like this would get ruined pretty easily, but that's still pretty neat. That's something I would never think... Uh, to get. So there you go. I've been rambling on just a scotch too long. Um, but, and you got the card, of course, that says um, what everything is and the authenticity of everything. Apparently, if you got the uh, the Hobbit bookmark with Mr. Frodo, uh, you got his sword um, that glows. It doesn't actually glow, but it's a sword pin and not the key. Um... But, yeah, so I like the key. I think the key is pretty cool. It's better than a tiny sword. The key, I think, is, like, looks legit. Like, it could be the key that you're carrying around. 
um, elf ears and all that other good stuff. So there you go, guys. That is it. That is the January Nerd Block. Um, I hope you had fun watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, every little bit helps. It gives me more motivation to film. It gives Brandon more motivation to talk about filming and editing the things that I film and putting stuff together. And it gives Hoss a reason to make fun of me because he thinks unboxings are dumb. But you all seem to like them, so we're going to keep doing them. Uh, that's about it, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.